Welcome to It's the Economy. The Monetary Policy Committee's meeting starts today with the decision due on Thursday. How much has changed in the last few weeks? Quite a bit. One, inflation has been lower than forecast for both November and December. Two, the budget has announced a lower than expected deficit for this year and the next year. And three, the Reserve Bank, after keeping liquidity tight, has provided 2.5 lakh crore of cash to banks through that 15-day repo on January 5th. And hence, the call rate, the interbank call rate, the rate at which banks borrow from one another for one day, has fallen to 6.5% after five months. Now, given this changed background, what can the Reserve Bank announce on Thursday? I have with me uh, Shandru Sengupta, the Chief Economist at Goldman Sachs India, and Abhishek Upadhyay, the Senior Economist at CICI Securities PD. Gentlemen, good morning and thank you very much for joining me. Uh, Shandru, uh, th that's the first question to you. The ambience has changed compared to December 8th. Two inflation readings below uh, in interim uh, budget uh, deficit uh, below expectation and looks like the Reserve Bank has changed its mind on liquidity. So, what are you expecting? Can you expect a stance change? Uh, hi, Lata. No, we are not expecting a stance change in this meeting. Uh, we think the MPC will hold on to the policy rates, reiterate their commitment to the 4% uh, inflation target, uh, as the governor has been doing in the last uh, few uh, RBI policy meetings. If you look at high-frequency data, it's showing an improvement in investment activity. Survey data, both services and manufacturing PMI has been solid, uh, well above 50, services PMI above 60. Uh, headline inflation, in our view, is likely to be around 5, 5.3% in, in the first quarter, that is the current quarter, driven by high food inflation, even though core has uh, declined to 4% or slightly below. Uh, so the RBI, in our view, will correctly claim that they have made uh, significant progress in bringing down inflation. Uh, they'll call out uh, for the steady decline in core inflation, which likely indicates that monetary policy is working. Uh, but you know, as the governor said in the last uh, press conference, that inflation management cannot be on autopilot with the future okay. path clouded with uh, uh, uncertain food prices. So I think we'll still, uh, still call out for uh, vigilance and the target of 4%. Okay. Liquidity okay. is slightly different. Liquidity tightness in the system was due to the government not spending. Some of the government's spending, in our view, will come back uh, in February and March. Uh, system, while system liquidity is still in deficit to the tune of about uh, 1 trillion plus, uh, overnight you will see there's been sizable placements with the SDF facility of the RBIs, and therefore, you know, overnight rates uh, came down. But again, you saw the RBI come out with V triple R auctions also, which is yes. indicating uh, that the, in our view, that is a signaling from the RBI that they wouldn't want the overnight to drop to repo or below. Again, between mm -hmm. December fifteenth and and now, RBI has conducted okay. ten plus variable rate repo auctions to infuse liquidity when the system was tied due to no government spending. And now they have, over the past week or so, announced three variable rate reverse repo yes. operations. So I think they, they will try to be nimble about, about liquidity management uh, going mm -hmm. forward until they are very clear about the Fed's path turning uh, mm -hmm. and, and then can get into easing of liquidity and change of stance okay. mode. No, no, let me just persist. Maybe I shouldn't have uh, clubbed both liquidity and, uh, you know, stance. But uh, isn't there enough uh, reason for uh, a change in stance? Inflation numbers below expectation, fiscal deficit really delivering. You don't think that uh, that should move them closer to a change in stance? Uh, Ashant, no? In our view, in our view, Lata, the change in stance and liquidity will almost go hand in hand. There is no point of a change in stance without changing liquidity uh, in the in the system. For the, for the overnight rates to fall to repo or below. So when the RBI gets into an easing mode, uh, that is when they can, uh, they can let the liquidity you know, be okay. in surplus, let the overnight rates drop to repo or below, okay. probably towards the SDF, when they're getting into the uh, easing uh, cycle. Okay, okay. What, what's your view, Abhishek? Uh, my, just, my small point is, or rather my major point is, that between December 8 and February 8, Two inflation readings lower, fiscal deficit much lower than expected. Uh, so, is there a chance that they either change the stance 
or you know even indicate that liquidity is now perennially going to keep call at six and a half rather than six point seven five. In some way, will they indicate that things are softer and rates can ease a bit? No, Lata. So we do think that this is a live meeting for stance change. Uh, it's a close call, but we do think that uh, uh, there has been significant uh, improvement in domestic and global backdrop. Uh, for RBI to now seriously consider uh, uh, some change in language. Uh, 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 as you mentioned, core inflation uh, has has not dipped to below 4%. And uh, the generalization of price pressures, which was the risk uh, uh, in the previous quarter, uh, is not showing any signs of crystallizing. Also, on the global part, we know that now, uh, after the December FOMC meeting, now deep rate cuts are priced in uh, all developed markets. Uh, crude prices also haven't increased uh, despite all the geopolitical concerns. So given all this, uh, uh, we do think uh, uh, that there has been substantial progress. Uh, whether the stance change happens in this meeting or next, we are somewhat agnostic. Uh, but at the same time, uh, uh, I, I do think that uh, RBI shifting to 14-day repos uh, and uh, backing that up with more fine-tuning repos to actively bring down overnight uh, rates from MSF, uh, which was the case over the last uh, nearly four months, uh, to yeah. closer to repo now is acknowledgement that, you know, things have progressed and we are moving in that direction of stance change. It is possible uh, that if stance change doesn't happen in this meeting, they would create conditions by providing a balanced commentary, uh, which would indicate that that, that shift could happen perhaps uh, in the April meeting. So, uh, uh, the point, the key point uh, you mentioned uh, with overnight rates coming down, uh, anyways, uh, to that extent, you know, uh, the, the change, the requirement of them to change stance is moot. Uh, we don't think change in stance would necessarily merit uh, imminent rate cuts. That is not our view. So RBI can always balance their commentary to to indicate that part. So uh, so in that light, we do think this is a live meeting. Okay. Uh, so, uh, to get back to Shantanu, what then are you expecting? Is it a cut-paste December 8 uh, wording and uh, attitude or will there be some nuanced changes? If yes, what? No, undoubtedly there will be nuanced changes. I mean, there, as, as I said at the outset, there's been significant progress in bringing down inflation and the RBI, mm -hmm. in our view, will correctly claim that you know, monetary policy has been working in bringing down uh, inflation. At the same time, headline at five and a half, five percent plus is not something that they will take comfort from, uh, and they will uh, sound out that that four percent is the medium term target. Also, remember if you look at the trajectory of inflation that the RBI has in the in the last meeting, uh, it's about five five and a half percent in the first two quarters of this calendar year. You mm -hmm. drop towards four percent and then go back again up towards uh, towards five percent. That drop towards four percent is purely on the basis of the base effects that you have seen in the in the current fiscal year, so the, yeah. the previous calendar years Q3, uh, and therefore, therefore, the RBI will really want to have headlines sustainably below five at least before they mm -hmm. want to go in for a for a stance change. Uh, you know, the the other thing is that on global front, there are still some uncertainties on the horizon. You know, you look at the Red Sea disruptions on one hand. The second is that there's a continuous repricing of the Fed funds rate path uh, globally. Uh, now, if you if you look at Indian bond yields also post this the very good budget and you know credits the government for adhering to the path of fiscal consolidation, uh, the ten-year bonds gained about nine or ten basis points and gave up half of those gains uh, with the U.S. data coming in strong. So there will be a bit of this pricing and repricing of the Fed path going on for the next quarter or so until the world really settles down to where the Fed path is finally going to. And that's mm -hmm. when other central banks possibly will be in a better position to, to change more, more conclusively towards, mm -hmm. towards an easing path. Uh, do you think, Shantanu, that, they are, uh, that the Reserve Bank is now more likely to keep the call at uh, six and a half? Yeah, I would say the call now is more likely to be in the region of six and a half, six seventy-five, rather than being at six seventy-five for the last month or mm. so. But the but the call at six seventy-five for the last month or so was also a function of the government's spending not coming through, 
and therefore your uh, system liquidity being in, in an extreme uh, uh, deficit scenario. The RBI was proactive. They came out with the, the VRR uh, uh, options. Uh, but you know, as soon as call, uh, that's the signaling in our view, as soon as call dropped to repo or below, they were they very active before. in terms of coming out with the V triple R options triple R. to okay. signal that you know 650 mm. is yeah. sort of the bottom that we are looking at. So yeah. somewhere in the region of 650, 675 is where we would say okay. uh, they would want the call until you know they make up their mind about uh, uh, when the easing path starts later in the year. Okay. Uh, what's your sense, uh, Abhishek? Do you think that call is likely to remain closer to six and a half, even if the government doesn't spend starting April? Of course, they will spend through March 31. Uh, do you think the Reserve Bank will be proactive in keeping uh, the call rate at, uh, you know, six and a half? And more importantly, you know, a more general question, do you think the cost of capital falls for companies? If there is a bond uh, index inclusion, the yield curve may slip. Uh, overall, can companies borrow more cheaply in the next six months, Abhishek? So, I mean, uh, to the point Shantanu was mentioning, I mean, I would say that uh, RBI always has, uh, a v should, should always have a way to control overnight rates, uh, whether government surplus is high or low. RBI, you know, always uh, had the toolkit to ensure that overnight rates trade near repo. It is just that they wanted to leverage the corridor uh, uh, given the uncertainties about, uh, you know, generalization of food inflation into core and, you know, the FX risks which were coming from the global side. Uh, the, the very fact that RBI is now actively trying to uh, bring down overnight rates from MSF to repo uh, is a sign that they believe there has been progress uh, in terms of mitigation of uh, those risks. So, I mean, yes. that is a key point. Uh, we're not saying that uh, stance change, uh, uh, you know, uh, should happen towards, uh, you know, uh, and the new yeah. stance should be uh, accommodation. We are saying the stance change should be neutral and even neutral stance overnight rate should be, uh, you know, about re uh, close to repo rate only. Uh, on the on the second point about uh, cost of funds for companies, uh, 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 we do think that, uh, you know, uh, monetary policy transmission uh, is now more or less complete and, uh, uh, as you head into the you know uh, next fiscal year, uh, uh, what market will focus on is uh, you know uh, uh, possible you know start of rate cut cycle at some point. Also, mm. liquidity conditions uh, might ease a bit, especially okay. uh, and which tends to be the case generally also at the start of the fiscal year. So it's yeah. possible you know government bonds uh, while they have been quite range recently. Uh, will will continue to trade with a positive bias. You could have 10-year yields dipping below 7% also. Then. And that could spill over into uh, cost of funds, borrowing for cost, corporates, etc. that you're talking about. Okay, okay. Shantaru, unfortunately out of time, but a very quick question. Do you think that they will at least prepare the market for a stance change? Possible. Uh, we think that is possible. That is possible through, you know, dialing down the language uh, saying, saying again, reiterating that we have made great progress on on core inflation, and if this continues, then there's a possibility of a stance change. I, I, I think that I, that that language change is something that we would be expecting. Uh, it's just that given the uncertainties globally, uh, yeah. we think that you know probably the April meeting is more appropriate for a stance change, yeah. and thereafter yeah. easing into the second half of this year, uh, this calendar year. So. Uh, August onwards, rather than start easing now. But as we discussed, I think 675 towards somewhere in the region of 650, 675 is already progress in terms of mm. uh, the some, yeah. somewhat easing. of an easing path. Fair point, fair point. So I think both of you are more or less on the same page. Uh, even uh, Abhishek, I guess, betting that perhaps if not uh, February, it could be April, but uh, the Reserve Bank will indicate perhaps a change in stance. Uh, making for a slightly easier monetary policy. Some bit of dovishness uh, is likely in terms of the cost of money. Uh, that uh, will be an important change and we will touch base with all of you after the policy. Thank you very much for joining us. Wrap up on Bazaar, Chartbusters coming.